our lesson is about solving equations transformable into quadratic equations. There are equations that we need to simplify first or we need to write in standard form before we can find the solution of our equation. So for this video, you are going to learn how to solve that kind of equations. Equations transformable to quadratic equations. Let's have our example. Number one, solve x times the quantity of x minus 5 is equal to 36. First, we need to write our equation, as you can see there, and then simplify the left side of the equation. We will apply the distributive property. We can simplify um, x and x here, so x times x, and then x times negative 5. x times x, that is x squared, and x times negative 5, the answer is negative 5x. And then copy equals to 36. After that, we need to transform this equation into standard form and in transforming this equation into standard form we will make our equation equal to zero therefore we will subtract both sides of our equation subtract 36 to both sides so that is what we call the addition property of equality to make our equation equal to zero so here we are our answer is x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Our equation now is written in standard form. After writing this equation into standard form, the next thing to do is to solve or find the roots using any of the four methods. So it's up to you which one is the most appropriate. And in this kind of equation, the easiest way is by factoring. So we'll find the roots of this equation using factoring. So look for our last term or the constant term, which is uh, negative 36. Okay, think of a number or factors of negative 36 when added equals to negative 5. What number is that? Factors of negative 36 when added, the answer is negative 5. And the numbers that we're looking for are negative 9 and negative and positive 4 of course we need to factor also the x squared that's why we have x and x there and then uh, write down the factors of negative 36 that the sum is negative 5 so we have x minus 9 and then x plus 4 as our factors after getting the factors of our quadratic equation, the next is to equate each factor to zero. We will x minus 9 is equal to zero or x plus 4 is equal to zero. And then after equating our factors, we can also for our x. Applying addition property of equality, x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 4. Another way of solving this is by uh, transposing negative 9 to the other side and change its sign. That's why we have 9. And of course, 4 also, 4 transposed to the other side and change the sign, negative 4. After that, you can check your solution or substitute the value of x to your original equation. Next, let's have this problem. So for 
uh, the quantity x plus 5 squared plus quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to 37. How can we solve this? Let's write our equation and next is to simplify the left side of our equation. Let's see. Um, our example here has the square of binomial. We have here quantity x plus 5 squared and quantity x minus 2 squared. So this is a square of binomial. We need to simplify this. The product of the square of binomial is a trinomial or composed of three terms. To get the first term of our product, we need to square x here. Square muna natin si x. x times x. The answer is x squared. Now, to get the middle term or the second term, we need to multiply x and the 5 and then multiply it to 2. 5 times x is 5x times 2, that is 10x. Now, for the third term, we need to square the second term. The second term is 5. 5 square is 25. 5 times 5. Okay, we will also do that steps on the other square of binomial. Again, we have three terms in our product here. To get the first term, we need to square this x, x times x, that is x squared. To get the middle term, multiply x and negative 2. x and negative 2 is negative 2x and then times 2. Times 2, that is negative 4x. And now, for the last term, we need to square negative 2. Square of negative 2 is positive 4. And after this, just copy equal to 37. Don't forget that. And of course, we have now our equation. We simplify or we already get the product of the two squares of binomial. Now, it's time for us to simplify our answer. You can notice that there are similar terms. We need to combine similar terms. And when we combine that, we can have this answer. 2x squared plus 6x plus 29 is equal to 37. 2x squared comes here. x plus x squared. That is 2x squared. 10x minus 4x. 6x. And 25 plus 4, 29. Then copy equals to 37. Is it the final answer? No. We need to make our equation equal to zero. Apply addition property of equality. We subtract both sides of equation. We subtract 37. That's why we add 37 here. And now we have our equation. Just bring down 2x squared plus 6x. And simplify 29 minus 37. 29 minus 37 is equal to negative 8. And our equation now is equal to 0. The equation now is in standard form. Okay, so we're done um, with simplifying the left side of our equation and transforming our equation into standard form what is the next thing to do okay we can now solve for our 
roots. And it's up to you if what uh, method you want to apply here, but we will use factoring. So the factors of 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 equal to 0 is 2x minus 2 and x plus 4. So these are the factors of this equation. After we get these factors, the next step is to equate these factors to 0. 2x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. So for our x here, let's start with 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Applying addition property of equality, we can get our x here as x is equal to 1. And for the other side, x is equal to negative 4. Aside from addition property of equality, we can also just transpose uh, negative 2 to the other side and divide by 2. The same on positive 4. And now, that's the time that you can check your solution. Okay, let's recap all the steps that we did to solve our equations. First, we need to simplify the left side of the equation, transform to standard form of quadratic equation, and then find the roots, use any of the four methods in finding the roots. Um, we have completing the square, factoring, quadratic formula, and extracting roots. And then, the last thing to do is check your solution against the original equation. Always check your answers if you still have time to make sure that you got it correctly. Alright, but what if our equation is irrational? algebraic expression. How can we solve that kind of equation? On my next video, I will show you the steps on how to solve rational algebraic expressions into a quadratic equation. So stay tuned and please watch my next video and don't stop learning. Let's love and have fun in mathematics, okay? Don't forget to subscribe.